What is going on guys, it's Clean Touch Pro and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to create your own gaming channel banner for YouTube. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this a series. So I'm gonna go ahead and split this into, I believe, uh, a couple of parts. So if this video is a little bit too long, I don't wanna, you know, upload such a long video and I don't want you guys to watch, sit back and watch the whole entire thing. So I kinda wanna split this into parts. So if it's too long, then uh, you know I, I can split it up. So this is gonna be a. I made this banner actually for Smith Connor. I don't think you guys know him, but you guys should check him out. I'll post a link to his channel uh, in the description for you guys to check out. Um, but you guys, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys how to do a gaming banner because I, I mean, I made a banner a couple months ago, but I didn't go in depth. So in this tutorials, in these tutorials, I'll be going in depth on how to do them, and they're gonna come out a little bit better, as you can tell. Um, I mean, I'm not the pro, I'm not a pro at making banners, but I kind of I'm kind of getting better at it. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys like these banners. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this right here. Uh, and yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start from uh, the beginning. So I'm gonna delete everything here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it from the scratch. You know, from the very beginning. So you guys will be able to download this file right here. This banner. It's a template. I'll post the link for that in the description for you guys to download. And once you have it open in Photoshop, we're going to go ahead and import our images. Because this is a gaming banner, we're going to be using gaming images, okay? So I'm going to select this one. I, again, I don't own, uh, you know, all these images here, of course, but we're going to be changing changing them up. So what I'm going to go ahead and do first is I'm going to use the Batman one because it's on the left side, and I want to put it on the left side. When you're making a banner on YouTube, you want to go ahead and make sure that you have everything, like all their text, your logos, your images, graphics, colors. Well, colors, is, you know, it's on the banner anyway. But you want to make sure you have everything inside of this first rectangle. Anything outside, um, people will see it, but you want to make sure you have everything inside of this first rectangle. So I'm going to go back to my image, this one right here. It's uh, Batman Arkham City, I believe, or Arkham Knight. So I'm going to hold uh, Command A and, or Control A on a PC. Command C to copy it or Control C on a PC. Command V to paste it or Control V to paste it on a PC. Wow, that's a mouthful. So we're gonna go ahead and click our layer one. So it's in between the top bar and the bottom bar. We're gonna go ahead and click that and make it uh, to the bottom right here. Okay, so that's in between these two, even though it's at the bottom because you know it's on top of the layer. So I just I just added these two so I could see what I'm working with just inside of these two. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just group these together so I can only mess with this one here. <clears throat> cool. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just, you know, fit this here, make this a little bit smaller so I could kind of fit it like this. Um, let's see. How could I do this? I kind of want it like this. Yeah. So as you can see, I want the image to kind of fit right here. So like right here because this is going to be our max uh, area. So you can see that it doesn't fit right here, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select uh, this part right here. Make sure you're on this layer, and I'm going to press Command C and Command V to paste it. So I just selected and copied this, and I'm going to press Command T or Control T on a PC, and I'm going to right click and go over to Flip Horizontal. I'm just click check for the check mark. Actually, uh, I think this one will look good like this. No, hmm, or you know what? I could just fill that with black because, yeah, we could fill that with black. So press D on the keyboard to you know make our background here or our foreground color to black, and cool. So now I'm gonna make that a little bit. Mm, I'm not liking it really. Let's see, what else could we do? You know what? We, let's do this one here. We'll do that one later. So press Command V to paste it. Uh, I'm gonna drag that on the bottom here. Just a little bit smaller, and I'm gonna uh, flip this horizontally, and it's gonna look like this. So this is gonna look good. Um, so you want to choose again, like the correct images to for this banner. So right here looks good. You know everything's fit right here and right here. We're gonna delete this part. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know go over to the eraser tool. I'm gonna click on that and press E for the shortcut. Right click to go to the little tools palette. And we're going to select our uh, soft brush and make this roughly, roughly big. So, you know, it's like this. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, erase, erase it like this. So, 
kind of like at an angle. Um, so I think this is good. And once you get closer to um, like an object, you want to decrease your brush. Uh, so like that will be good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to, we don't need this anymore. We can go back to, um, I guess we can go with this one here. Press Command C, press Command V to paste it on there. And I'm just making it bigger, I mean smaller, I meant, sorry. So I'm going to be posting the shortcuts on the screen so you guys can check those out. So uh, that looks good. I'm going to press uh, E for the brush. Uh, let's see. This needs to be, because see, if I erase it, you can see that you can start seeing the uh, the, the transparent background. So we're going to put that uh, in the background like this. So you can kind of see it's like this now. Cool. So now we're going to go back to our Batman image, and we're going to paste it here. So it should look something like that. Um, though I'm not very happy with the, the Batman one, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what I should do? I should flip this horizontally like this. Make this a little bit bigger. Like that. Again, it doesn't really have to, you don't have to fit all the details in here. But uh, I'm going to make this on top, no, on the bottom here. And I'm going to move this right here. Like, like so. Yeah. And then I'm going to use the eraser tool and I'm going to just erase this like that. That looks pretty good. Cool. Now, we, once we're done with the images, I'm going to just rename them. So, Last of Us, that's the game. And then we have uh, GTA 5. Um, and then, not percent. <laughs> GTA 5 percent. Man, I want to play that game so bad. <laughs> All right. And then Batman. I'll just put Batman. All right. Cool. Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to decrease the, or we're going to have to change this to black and white because it looks more classic and more clean so I'm gonna go with the last of us first I'm gonna go over to image adjustments and desaturate the shortcut is shift command U so now it's desaturated so it's black and white do the same thing for you know Franklin uh, or Grand Theft Auto you know character let's go over to adjustments and go to desaturate now it's desaturated go back to Batman do the same thing image adjustments and desaturate so if I'm going a little fast please tell me um, just you know go back and watch it again or just pause it so I'm kind of I kind of want to make this a little bit fast because uh, you know I don't want to take up your time so now we're done with the images and we have this all right now once we're done with that we're gonna apply an overlay to our image to make it look a little bit more clean more classy so this just doesn't pop uh, you know and hits you with the face with so much stuff so um, I'm gonna go ahead and group these together make sure you rename your layers always always rename your layers so you can or you know keep uh, yourself organized and um, you could easily manage you know images and it's just it speeds up your workflow so what you want to do is you want to select your whole entire thing here and uh, once you've done that we're gonna press command G or control G G to <laughs> to group them together double click to rename it I'm gonna name it uh, graphic no 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 images I'll just put game images I was gonna put uh, graphic images but I was like no <laughs> that doesn't sound right all right so game images that sounds good now we're gonna create a new layer on top of our uh, group, uh, game images and I'm gonna rename that to black overlay and we're gonna uh, I didn't spell that did I overlay there we go I'm gonna go ahead and uh, apply a little black overlay over this so it kind of makes it a little bit darker but I'm not gonna select a pure black I'm gonna select like a like a softer black so something like that and I'm gonna go over to our um, to our what is it the rectangular marquee tool Wow I, I never really know the name for that but rectangular re marquee tool and I'm assuming you have the guides open if you don't have that open press command colon uh, or control colon to bring up the guides and we're gonna go ahead and select this corner here and it should snap and if you don't have the snapping go over to window uh, or no view snap make sure that's on, uh, make sure that's checked and then it's gonna select just this part now we're gonna hold alt or option on a Mac and press delete and that will fill it with the black so um, I didn't select everything let's see make this there we go okay cool now it selected everything I believe right no, it didn't select everything. 
There we go, now it did. All right, so now we have our black overlay. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, decrease the opacity to around uh, 50% would be good. Yeah, 50%, so it's not too dark. So cool, once we've done that, we're gonna see this right here. And um, now we're gonna go ahead and apply our texture. Now, I, I'm also gonna be providing you guys a download to the textures, so I'm gonna go over to File, I'm gonna go over to Open. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go over to textures. So the the text is gonna be the longest part. So I'm gonna you know put that on another video on the second part. So the textures is gonna be the last thing for this. So I'm gonna go over to pictures. I'm gonna go over to textures and open up my textures folder. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up um, a texture here, one that I think looks good. Um, let's let's try this one. If it doesn't look good, then no, this is the wrong one. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think this one would look good, right? Let's try this one. Oh, I didn't want to paste it. I'm gonna paste it in here. All right, this one's this one's the right one. Okay, I'm gonna hold Shift, make that a little bit, you know. So what I've done here is I it's on top of our black overlay. Press Command T to you know open up the free transform tool, and I'm gonna hold Shift. You know, make sure you hold Shift and click one of the the corners. Um, uh, if you don't, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be all out of portion. It's not gonna keep its proportion. So, hold shift when you do it. So, look, this should be good. Cool. Now we're gonna go ahead and change the blend mode to multiply, and you can see the texture is on top of our image. So it gives it that cool little effect to it. But I'm gonna change that to 80%, and so it's not too harsh on the image. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rename that to texture because I like to rename stuff. And cool. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our image. Um, correct, correct, right? Let's see. I'm trying to remember. Um, actually, no. Yeah, we're gonna go over to game images, make sure it's grouped, you know, your folder, and double click on it. And I'm gonna go over to pattern overlay. Now I'm gonna be providing you guys a pattern um, in, you know, the link will be in the description. Download it, open it in Photoshop. And when you open the image in Photoshop, it's going to be like a little square or a big square. It doesn't matter. Go over to, uh, I believe it's edit and then define pattern. Okay. Click on that. And then it's going to say, it's going to bring up this. It's going to bring up pattern name. Give it a name. I just named it uh, whatever the file name was. And I click OK. When you click OK, you want to go back to here. You know, go over to the folder, game images. Double click on that. Go to pattern overlay click on that and where it says pattern it's gonna give you like a weird little shapes here click on that and then it's gonna give you you know a couple of these of course you won't have this unless you already have some uh, or you already have patterns installed um, so I already have a lot of these <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and select um, uh, the pattern that I chose uh, I don't know if it was this one though or was it black overlay I think it was black overlay uh, let's see pattern overlay. Yeah, it was pattern. Yeah, so go to uh, black overlay and we we'll go over to pattern overlay select pattern and I'm going to select Was it this one? No, which one was it? Uh, boy, I think this one will look cool. Yeah, so I think that one looks cool I'm gonna go ahead and select that one because it gives it kind of like a like a checkered board here And I'm gonna click ok. You can just change the blend mode the opacity however you'd like But I'm gonna just keep it how it is click ok and now you have like a really cool effect to the background, so it looks like that. So, so far this is going to be part one, um, you know, my second part, I'm going to go over uh, how to apply text, um, you know, add texture to the text, you know, add a clipping mask, and make it look all nice and neat. So, so far if you liked the video, please leave a rating below, that would be much appreciated. Um, if I can get like 100 likes, then on my second part, I will show you some tips and tricks. Uh, but uh, yeah, so leave a comment if you guys want, want more videos like this, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, stay classy. Peace out.